Clear the runway, baby. I get money from Sunday to Sunday, lady. Oh, behave. I'm young, rich, famous. Trying to keep my pockets on Schwarzenegger. Taste flavor, don't it? Y'all niggas can get it if you want it. Chilling with the fuck a little Car service just chilling. guys welcome back to my channel first of all I want to say a huge huge massive thanks to everyone who's been my hands are so just all over the place to everyone who's been subscribing and liking and watching my videos and sharing and commenting everything thank you so much um yeah like I recently just you know been trying to be more consistent with my videos and actually making videos about stuff that i'm interested in like you know i want to be consistent but at the same time i don't want to just put out videos for the sake of it like if the content isn't genuine then i don't really see the point in just uploading you know to keep up with a schedule and whatever um so hence the reason for me not uploading last week because i was super super busy and um, it was my last week of placement and I had to get like all my shits together and I just really did not have the time. I didn't have anything filmed in advance and just the sheer feeling of like freaking out because I didn't have something to upload. I don't like that pressure. It kind of takes the fun out of doing YouTube. And anyway, enough with the ranting. Thank you so much and continue to subscribe and thumbs up my videos and share. It really does help and I'm gonna continue to do my thing. But anyways, today's video is gonna be a hair talk slash update video because a lot's been going on with my hair lately. Um, I feel like I literally have gone back to square one with not knowing what to do with my hair, not knowing what products to use. And I've just been feeling like just really lost. And I've been experiencing like breakage and shedding and just a lot of dryness and everything that you don't want with your hair basically I've been experiencing it so um, I'm just gonna talk to you about what I've actually been doing to try and change things and improve things first of all I'll address the breakage issue so being a student and living on a budget the number one thing is I'm not gonna have the most you know healthy diet out there like I don't eat fast food and stuff like that but like you know oven food and toast all the time it's just not the most healthy thing and of course your hair is gonna suffer because your hair is the last place or the last part of your body to get you know whatever nutrients you put into your body um, obviously stress from being a student final year working 35 hours a week as a student nurse it's just it's not easy at all so I started taking vitamins and um, I'll show you them now these are the vitamins that I take they're from Tesco like I honestly can't afford to get the you know super like proper vitamin stuff from health shop so in my opinion these are just as good it's just you know it doesn't have a name brand on it and these are just the A to Z multivitamins and minerals from Tesco and it's just you know regular one a day tablets and then these are the complex complex V V I can't talk today Ugh. the complex B vitamins um, from Tesco as well and I know you're probably thinking what's the point in taking you know a separate B vitamin if everything is in here that's just me in my head I feel like I need to get more B vitamins to help with my hair even though if you think about it like this gives you the you know 100% of everything that you need but you know an extra bit wouldn't hurt so yeah those are the vitamins that I take and then I I started I started taking them about Sit over a month ago about two months now personally I've noticed a difference obviously in my immune system I tend to get cold and sick a lot but I haven't been you know feeling as low since I started taking these and my hair in my opinion has improved I posted an Instagram post a while ago about the difference in breakage since I started since I started taking these vitamins I probably post it here and follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already I post a bunch of random stuff about you know my food life just work 
whatever you would normally be post about. Um, but yeah, and I have actually noticed a difference in my hair. It doesn't break as much as it was breaking before I started taking these. I also started a new wash routine, just a new hair routine altogether. Um, I like, yeah, so I noticed an improvement or a decrease in the amount of breakage, but it was still breaking a bit too much for my liking. Like, apparently they say you lose, you know, up to 50 strands of hair a day from just natural shedding, and that's fine, but I don't know, I just feel like 50 strands a day, and it's not like you're gonna grow back the whole strand like that. Like, I mean, if you continue to lose that amount of hair a day, it's gonna be a lot, your hair's gonna start to thin out. And then that doesn't even, you know, include when you wash your hair and when you're detangling and, oh, I just, no. So I was like, right, I need to do something about this. I did a lot of research. I was reading, um, oh, what's the name of that blog? You know, like the really popular natural hair blogs, like Long Hair, Black Girl Long Hair. Um, so oh, I can't remember, but you, you know, hair blogs. So I was reading a bunch of posts on hair blogs. Um, on how to change up my routine. Normally I would have washed my hair every, I don't know, four to five weeks or something because at the time I was like, right, I'm just too busy. I can't afford to, you know, be washing my hair every week and the amount of conditioner I'd be going through and all of that. So I was like, right, I shall space out my washes. And while in one sense that does, you know, seem logical, but on the other hand, my, by the time I would get to wash day after freaking five weeks, my hair would be so dry, the amount of build up and then the amount of breakage and hair loss would just be greater. So I thought, okay, right, I'm gonna cut it back down to every two weeks, let's say, because I still can't do the one, the every one week thing. I just can't, not now anyway. So every two weeks, um, I'm gonna you know wash and deep condition and all that stuff and then I also changed the actual sequence of what I do on wash day so before I would have deep conditioned on dry hair overnight and then shampooed all the uh, build up and all that stuff out then use a leave-in conditioner and seal with an oil and that seemed to work okay but after reading all this stuff on the blogs, I was kind of like, okay, you're deep conditioning on dry hair with build up from weeks and weeks of products and gel and you know, whatever else you put in your hair. You put the conditioner on top of that. It doesn't have, like, it's not going to penetrate the hair because all that other crap is on your hair shafts and stuff. Then you wash it out with shampoo. Mind you, I don't use the sulfate free shampoo. Um, you wash all that stuff out, strip in your hair, and then you put the leave in conditioner back but it's kind of like you take one step you take one step forward and take two back you know that kind of thing so I was like okay I need to rethink this whole process so what I did last week I washed my hair this day last week um, I did a hot oil treatment which I have only done about once in my life ever for some reason I just didn't stick with it but I did it properly this time because I researched you know certain oils that would benefit you know the results that would help me achieve the results I was looking for so I did a hot oil treatment with grapeseed oil um, castor oil olive oil extra virgin olive oil and some lavender oil um, and it just worked like a charm like seriously I you know saturated my hair in the oils put like freaking 50 layers of plastic wrap around my hair plastic bag head scarf more plastic wrap because it was just dripping everywhere and I didn't want it to get in my pillowcase and stuff but then I slept with that in my hair and then the next morning I washed it out with a new shampoo actually that I'm trying out it's the herbal Ex essences clearly naked 0% silicone 0% paraben and 0% colorant but it still has sulfate in it but in comparison to the other herbal essences the ingredients list is shorter so I suppose that's a good thing I just wanted to try it out anyway because it was in the pound shop for only 150 so I was like hey why not I'll give it a try and it's really good like my hair felt clean but I didn't feel stripped obviously because I did hot oil treatment previously so yeah that's basically what I did hot oil treatment then 
washed out with this shampoo and then I deep conditioned with my Aubrey GPB um, conditioner which I've showed you guys before um, for about two hours and with that also I added some yogurt and a little bit of the Giovanni Nutrifix hair reconstructor and you can see how much of that is left. I've used it about two times. The first time this was the only conditioner that I used so I used a good bit of it but then last week I only used this just you know as a just throw a tiny bit of it in there and I'm hoping to get some more out of it on my next wash day. So I used those two and some natural yogurt as well so it was kind of a protein treatment as well. Then after I washed out the conditioner I didn't use the shampoo to wash that conditioner I just basically co-washed um, and then I used my um, Cantu Shea Butter with Argan Oil in it. I used that leave-in conditioner with the same mix that I used for my hot oil treatment as a seal in, as a sealer, seal in, that's the word, um, to seal in all the moisture. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing and I have noticed a lot of difference between this day last week and today my hair has not shed like okay, it's shed like I don't know five strands of hair and when I was putting my hair into this bun like normally it would be just so difficult and hair like literally before I would go like this and hair would always come out like every single time but now when I do that my hair just feels a lot stronger but not dry and crispy it just feels like it could take on the world you know like it just it feels stronger and equipped to you know go by day you know day by day styling even though I don't sell my hair every day it just feels a lot better so I'm hoping that if I continue this routine you know in a few months time I'll see more of my growth and I'll be able to attain my length because I've kind of been feeling like my hair has plateaued and it's not really grown as well as it should be some people would beg to differ and say oh your hair has grown a lot for two years but I don't know I try not to compare myself to other people but I don't know we're humans and we're female and we do it anyway regardless of how much we say we're not going to do it so this is the main new oil in my life I love this stuff grapeseed oil and I just put a few drops of lavender oil in there as well you know just to give it a nicer scent even though grapeseed oil doesn't really have much of a smell it's better than nothing um, so I use a mixture of this like I said before grapeseed oil castor oil um, some lavender oil and extra virgin olive oil mix it all in a little bottle thing and that's just what I use to you know seal and moisturize my hair you know every day and on wash days and for hot oil treatments it just seems like a good combination of oils for me and each of those oils aren't you know they don't cost a fortune I'll leave you guys with that for now over the coming weeks I'm gonna be doing more updates on how it's going for me you know like the breakage and if I see any growth I still feel it's difficult for me to see true growth because I still have my relaxed ends on because on, <laughs> I haven't cut off my relaxed ends yet and I mean they say that you never really see your true length unless you straighten your hair and get it bone straight so I'm not too worried about that I just want a healthy hair I don't want you know excessive breakage and excessive shedding because that's just not cute um, so yeah I will also be doing I'll try to do a video of my new wash routine and the whole hot oil treatment process thing. I'll probably do it in two separate videos. But yeah, I just thought I would share all this new information with you guys. And again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure to click the button down below there. And if you have any questions, suggestions, anything, leave them in the comments box. I'm going to do my shopping now and Aldi so I'm gonna leave it here thanks guys bye mentioned I did that science course in UCC in Cork and I absolutely love Cork like I love the campus I love UCC Cork City is just absolutely gorgeous like but the course was just driving me crazy